distillation. Now we're going to talk about fractional distillation. The difference between fractional distillation and simple distillation. Simple distillation can be used for separation of two liquids with significantly different boiling point. That would be like the minimum of 80 degrees Celsius. Um, with the, because there is nothing to stop the vapor of second compound going to, going to condenser. Uh, but fractional distillation, you can use it for any mixture of any two liquid that has at least 20 degree difference in, their, in the boiling point. So we can use the uh, fractional distillation. In terms of the apparatus, you just saw me assembling a simple distillation. The difference between simple and fractional distillation is addition of fractionating column. Fractionating column, it could be like this homemade one. So we have, we are adding like steel wool to the, to the condenser and we use that as a fractionating column. Um, it's going to be inserted between the boiling flask and the distillation head. And to do that, I need to in, increase the height for everything else. I keep the, I will keep the boiling flask in the same height that I have. I'm just going to make the elevate the distillation head, insert the fractionating column. Now, don't forget to add the grease. Grease must be added to every glass joint for the same two reasons that we talked about it in the, uh, um, for the other distillation setup. So you wanna make sure that your gla the glass joints are always lightly uh, greased. I just want to show you the difference. That's why I showed you the setup already. Um, simple distillation. If you would have started from scratch, you would put the fractional distillation before adding everything else, meaning that distillation head and the condenser. Now, see how straight this is. Like I like this part of the setup, the glassware needs to be straight up. And whenever you have like two glass joints, you are using the keck clamp has like a small ring and a large ring. The small ring should go to the thin side of the glass joint and the large one, it should go to the outer, uh, to the thicker part of the glass joint. And the way you insert it, you're going to push from the one side, but if you don't support it, it will break the glass. Like even if you are going up here, you have to, you have to support it. So you put, uh, if you're doing with one hand, you just press it from one side with two fingers and you, you place your thumb on the other side and push, okay? Now, if you put it in the wrong direction, there would be no use for it. I'm going to show that in using two, like another piece of glass. So you can see what I mean. If you have this Clayson adapter and you want to attach to this rubber, uh, to this boiling flask, the right way is to put the small ring in the thin side of the joint, because this opening right here, it should be around the ring where the joint is. The small ring, thin side, the bigger ring on the thick side of the joint. Now, if you do it wrong, what will happen? First of all, it would be very hard for this small ring to go around this. If I force it without breaking, which I'm going to try my best to do the wrong thing. Okay, if I, I force it and it's there and someone looking from far could say, okay, is holding, but it's not holding because it's not placed in the right position. It's not going to hold. And I'm going to take it out and put it in the right way for you to see how it can protect the joints from separating. So it kind of, it, it holds it together. After you set up your distillation, sometimes you move 
things around, when you heat up, you don't want these glass joints to get separated because if it gets separated, then you have opening for the vapor to leave the, the system. They want to make sure that all the glass joints are clamped. After I place the chemical during the experiment, I put one also for the boiling flask, but that would be the last part, last keg clamp that I will add uh, after I put the chemicals in. For the receiving part, also same. It could be flask, it could be graduate cylinder, it could be boiling flask, and you're just going to move the stand until you get like a proper fit, as close as possible. You don't have to close it. And we will, uh, can, you can use the flask or the boiling flask, Erlenmeyer flask or boiling flask or graduate the cylinder. This concludes our set up for simple distillation and fractional distillation. I also talked about the theory of the distillation. Uh, I'm going to just add one thing that the setup we are done with the setup. I'm just going to add one thing about the theory of the fractional distillation. How does it enable us to separate component of the mixture with 20 degree difference in boiling point? Both vapor A and B is going to generate because they are close in boiling point. So when you heat up, both of them would go to the vapor. Vapor A is coming from compound with low boiling point, is going to come up. It will condense and it goes back at the beginning. At, at the same time, when condensation of the vapor takes place, because it's exothermic, it would leave some, it would release some heat, which means that the column is going to get warmed up. Compound B, vapor B also is coming up and is going to condense and it goes lower. Because it has higher boiling point, it would condense faster. So when compound B comes up, the higher boiling point is going to condense and it will go back. Compound A, because it has lower boiling point, it will come up, survive, it will go to distillation head and it will be condensed. So as both compound A and B are coming or going through the, the fractionating uh, column, the fractionating column is going to fractionate them, is going to discriminate them, is going to allow only compound with lower boiling point to reach the distillation head and not the other one. So that's the benefit and the difference between the fractionating column and simple distillation simple uh, distillation with no fractionating column. So for simple distillation, you don't have this vapor are generated, they go into the condenser. Fractional distillation, it returns the one with the high boiling point. And thank you.